Welcome to Nadia's Kitchen Creations. This week I am making a chicken meatloaf. For this recipe, you'll need a pack of ground chicken or turkey and set that aside in a bowl and we'll get the rest of our ingredients ready. You'll need two garlic cloves crushed, approximately one small onion chopped. You can chop this finer than I did. And then you'll need one medium sized carrot grated. And you can, of course, if you're hiding it, say you want to hide it from your kids or anybody who doesn't like vegetables, you can very easily put this, the onions, garlic and carrots in a blender and kind of make a slurry of vegetables. So they're not easily detectable or easy to pick out. And I did choose to leave the skin on the carrots. They, I just washed them really well, but I'm okay with having the skin on. Then you're going to need about a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese or Romano, something like that, whatever kind of that kind of hard cheese that you like. And so we'll go ahead and add the grated carrots to our ground chicken. Add half a cup of breadcrumbs or panko, your small onion, your two cloves of garlic, your quarter cup of grated cheese, about a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, a teaspoon of oregano, and a teaspoon of basil, and a teaspoon of thyme, and some black pepper to taste. All of these herbs and spices you can adjust to your own personal taste or just leave it out completely. I just put a little dollop of mustard and a bigger dollop of ketchup. So we're just going to go ahead and mix that really well. add it to a loaf pan and that should take about 25 to 30 minutes to bake and at the end or just before it's almost done I just like to put a squirt of ketchup or you can do barbecue sauce and spread that around and pop that back under the broiler for about five minutes. let that sit in the pan for about five to ten minutes covered just so the juices don't flow out as soon as you cut it and that is it that is part of dinner ready you can serve this with a side salad some steamed vegetables some potatoes mashed potatoes baked potatoes or some rice or even some pasta it's a really simple dinner for those busy nights that we all have and please don't forget to subscribe to Nadia's Kitchen Creations also I would love it if you could share this video click that like button and and leave a comment if you have any questions or anything nice to say at all. Thank you so much for tuning in to Nadia's Kitchen Creations and I will see you in the next one.